Hi, I'm Cindy Smith from the Community Food Pantry at St. Mary's in Mohegan Lake. And I'm Catherine Fraze from the Food Pantry at the First Presbyterian Church of Yorktown. Catherine and I are the co-chairs of the Yorktown Food Security Task Force, and we wanted to talk to you about some other things that we're going to be doing. Did you know that many families in Yorktown Heights live paycheck to paycheck, which means that if something else goes wrong, like their car needs a repair or a mechanical or medical bill rather, they may not have enough money to buy food for their families. That's where the local food pantries come in, a place in, where people can go for a friendly face and a bag of groceries. Right now, the pantries are operating with very few staff to keep everyone healthy and safe, but there are still ways that young people can help us and get service hours if they need them. One of the best ways is to run a food drive for one of the pantries. To run a food drive is pretty simple. First, decide who you will ask. Friends at school, neighbors, people at your house of worship or sports association. Then connect with the food pantry you'd like to help to confirm what they need at the present time. Then you collect the food. The fourth step is very important. You need to date check it and quality check it. People sometimes don't realize how old the things they grabbed from the cupboard might be. The pantries cannot accept past date items, nor anything that has dents, tears, water damage, or basically anything you wouldn't want your own family to eat. Drop off the food as agreed with the pantry and receive our sincere thanks. We're going to give you some information on what the pantries are typically looking for and also show you um, the contact information for both Catherine and I and for the Food Security Task Force.